first time I came, I I actually came directly from uh, from Lin no from uh, Lillestrøm to a training camp uh, in in Germany and straight from the training camp uh, to be presented uh, at the the uh, stadium as a as a new player or the player or the whole team was going to be presented. Yeah, and uh, we were at the uh, Inuno Stadium in Besiktas, uh, old stadium. Now it's a new stadium there, uh, fantastic stadium. Now. Uh, but uh, at that time, an old stadium, <laughs> you're going down to the, like in the basement, yeah. like really dark place. Uh, <laughs> and you have to go through this long uh, tunnel and and it's really dark. And at the end, you go up behind the goal. And it stood there and uh, everybody was going to present it uh, for the fans and the stadium was full. And we were standing waiting there and on top they had a, like a goat yeah. which they like cut and then they took the blood from the goat and put it in your forehead and then you <laughs> run out to the pitch and i was like can't be happening in full stadium and this was like proper i never experienced that sound any, you yeah. know, wow. at that time so went out there and <laughs> Some guys came and took me on the shoulders and running around. And I, I remember thinking, what the hell? What are you doing? Put me down. What do you think you bought here? <laughs> you think you bought Maradona or something? <laughs> Put me down. So that was my first uh, encounter with, uh, with, um, with, with Turkish football. Uh, but I have to say, you know, the atmosphere in, in yeah. Turkey is, it's, uh, you have to, yeah, you've been there. Yeah. So, so yeah, you were there the year before, was it 95? We, um, no. Na- yeah, 95 against Galatasaray. No. Yeah. And the year after, uh, Fenerbahce. Yeah. Unbelievable. Sta- yeah. Stadiums are full at yeah. midday. Midday, yeah. <sighs> yeah. You're not kicking off till nine o'clock at night. No. And Any- the stadiums are full. Anybody yeah. put goat blood on your head? No, no, <laughs> okay. God, no. Worth checking. What did you make of your debut season? How did you, how did you think it went? Debut season, I played a lot of games, remember? Uh, and uh, my first game, <laughs> my first game, uh, uh, we played uh, uh, Wimbledon away. And you heard about this crazy gang. You know? Yeah. Remember this sitting in the dressing yeah. room and uh, and they had like this, uh, what do you call this? Uh, the big uh, sound Gattle thing. Blaster. Gattle blaster. And put it almost in the in you know turning against our dressing room yeah. was like really loud and um i was on the bench uh came out uh, i think beginning of second half i think mid midfield and the ball and ball came uh from our back uh form was a long ball uh playing up front i was running just turning around running running after it and Winnie Jones came the other way. And he missed me about that much with his elbow. Seriously. And I was like, what is this? Why is he running this way? I was like, <clears throat> so it's always been in my mind. Like, what was that? He was running, the ball went that way. He came running the other way with this elbow, like that far from my head. <clears throat> and um, and uh, in that game, uh, David uh, Beckham That's scored best. from uh, from yes, the halfway line, and I never yeah. saw that before either. So it was like two things <laughs> in the game. Yeah. So I was like, even in training, I never saw it. So he did it in game. So oh, wow. Yeah. The thing about uh, Winnie Jones, I met him at a dinner uh, after my career, and I we sat at the table having fun. Like you know, he's yeah. a, he's a fun guy, uh, <clears throat> and I and I had to ask him, you know, blah blah blah. The ball went that way. You came the other way. And with the elbow up, you know, almost hit me. And he said, he started to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, he said, in, in, in Wimbledon that time, uh, foreign players come into English football. We're going to, you know, flatten them. And I tried to flatten you. He said, and I was going to stand over you and say, welcome to England. <laughs> <laughs> so he said that. That was brilliant. Yeah. That was brilliant. <laughs> so uh, that was my first game. When you arrived and there's people like David Beckham scoring from the halfway line, yeah. did you feel like the, I guess, the step up in quality from the other clubs you'd played at felt natural? Or did, was there ever a moment of like, everybody's very good here? Ah, yeah, you felt that when you came into the training the first time, mm-hmm. you, you thought, oh, you thought of, oh my God. I, uh, I, the first game I played in that was uh, Wimbledon was the first game I played in in 
in uh, in a proper game. Mm-hmm. That was an yeah. official game. But we had a. I think we went to Sweden to play a game mm-hmm. in preseason, and I uh, came in on the on the midfield right. <coughs> I think I think there was a first touch. I got the ball. I, I looked up and I tried to cross it to. I think it was Gigsy, and just. Belted and I missed, missed it. <laughs> and it, it was really, it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really hard, you know, that, you know, half a meter off the ground. And Eric was like standing 10 yards away from me. <laughs> and he took like a really soft touch and, and forward. And, and he was like watching up to me and like thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> that was my first touch. And, uh, and I thought, oh my God. Uh, that, well, that's, a le- that's a level he's just like <laughs> got, got it with him, my first touch. So he was happy. But uh, yeah. I didn't mention for everybody. It was like, it was meant to be to get on the other side. <laughs> uh, about the, uh, the Liverpool game. Do you remember if when we came into the into the changing room after that game and Gaffer came in and everybody like he came in a little bit late yeah and we were like bossing in the changing room I was like, oh, and he said quiet quiet and it was what's was, was now then and uh and he started to because the changing room at, at that, that stadium is very close to each other yeah and you, you can hear the manager next to go ballistic <laughs> <laughs> and he's like listen and we can hear him and say, and say a couple <laughs> did like a love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. That's amazing. Are you still in touch with Ula? Ula, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm uh, I was over a month ago again. Uh, and it's always so nice, I have to say, uh, <laughs> to come over to meet these guys. It's amazing. And, uh, and I was over um with a friend, it's also, um, you know, it's a little bit like a, a, a agent as well. But anyway, went to Carrington, uh, you know, to come there, it's open arms, so f- unbelievable. It's great, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it is. It is I have the to say. The love's still there. Yeah. Kathy on com- the desk. Yeah, ca- you yeah. meet Kathy and, you know, you come up and uh, you see Nikki. Yeah. Uh, but the, you know, the first time I, I came to Carrington, uh, I was going into the Ulis office. I stood outside the door and I said, and you always had the feeling when it was, I was <laughs> like, oh my God, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> what, am I doing in that? what have I done wrong? Yeah. <laughs> that was the first thing. What have I done? And I felt, to be honest, I felt the same feeling standing outside that door. And I was like, oh. and you're walking in and Ulis there. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's strange because, uh, it, you know, it's, you know, respect and everything, but, being your former uh, teammate and and uh, roommate and uh, you know so uh, but anyway it, it's it's yeah, I got the same feeling standing outside the side of the door it's That's like, mad, isn't yeah it? but as I said you know um, uh, keeping touch with uh, with all the people that were there and and even new people uh, where I get to to know because I do a little bit for the club now and then uh, it's really nice I get to to know uh, new people's coming in. So I was there, I uh, went to the game. Uh, also, I saw the Norwich game, was it? Yeah, yeah. that's a good one, yeah. mm-hmm. four nil. Yeah, uh, and I came with my friend up to the Warwick suite. Yeah. Uh, just called the, the, the club and yeah, yeah, we go organize this for you. Came up to Warwick suite with my friend uh, in there. I saw the game, I was sitting in one of the lounges and, and I said to, and my, my friend was just unbelievable. This is unbelievable. And you feel, you know, you meet a lot of people, everybody's so friendly. And uh, I, said, I said to, and you know, my friend said that he's been around, as I said, as a football managed uh, uh, agent, he's been around and uh, talking about this. And I said, you know, I hope every player experienced the same thing as I do, because coming back to your old club and you get this uh, treatment yeah. is unbelievable. Yeah. And he said, yeah, I never saw it. I never saw it before. And I, I said, it's unbelievable, isn't it? So that's the feeling coming back to United. It's, um, it's so nice to meet the people there and coming back. 